Hi Taslin, we're gonna go through a wet shave regime, all right? So ideally what you would have done prior to prepping your skin is cleanse the face. What I always recommend guys do is maybe shower before you shave. Once you've got all that hydration around your face from the steam, it's the ideal time to actually do a wet shave. To prep the skin before shaving, you would cleanse the face. If you haven't got no time in the morning and you're very busy, and you want to do it before you shower, then I would recommend use a warm flannel, place that onto the face and leave that on for about 60, 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. And that helps to hydrate the beard, priming the beard ready for shaving. The next thing I would recommend is use an oil. And what the oil does, it works as a protective barrier on the skin. What oils do essentially is prevent things like ingrowing hair, um, things like razor burn by having an extra protection on the skin. So would you use an oil on, a damp, on your damp hand, tiny drops, two or three drops on your hands, and massage your beard area. Massage that in, warming up the face. giving the skin a protective layer on the face. The next phase is prime your brush. So dip your brush in warm water. A warm brush on warm skin helps to soften the, the beard whiskers. It allows the beard to be much more pliable and it gives that hydration, makes the actual hair plump up. So you've got a much more, um, more surface area for the razor to cut, right? So what we're gonna do is use our brush. We apply our cream to the brush. So that has a bit of water on there. So it's a nice warm brush and we're working circular motions. So our brush is giving mild exfoliation. It's driving hydration into the skin. It's lifting the, bris the bristles off the face. And this is a much more preferred version of applying product to your face rather than using your hands. Because this is warming the skin up, allowing the heat to transfer to the face. And again, making sure we've got lots of hydration on there and it creates a rich, warm, protective lava on the face. We're going to work direction of growth first of all. Overlapping strokes, short overlapping strokes. Do not apply too much pressure to the razor when doing this. The idea is to let the razor blade do the cutting, not the action of the pressure of your hand on the razor. This is the reason why we recommend changing the blades as often as possible. Generally, I'd recommend after every six or seven shaves. So once you've carried out a shave process, what is important, you've got all that heat that was on the skin, first of all. Now rinse the face with cold water. This helps to cool the skin and refresh the skin. And, to, and obviously with the, with the warmth of that heat, blood, was, blood has rushed to the surface of the skin. Now you want the blood to kind of be pushed away from the skin. So use a cold rinse of cold water. Next, you want to heal and protect that skin. What's really important is that you use a post shave balm. And this works after you shave. So what you would do is use a small amount of post shave balm like this. Again, dab it in the key areas of the face and then work that in to this area. Now, you don't want to be using products that contain alcohol. So your aftershave sprays, try and keep it on your clothes, not on your face. Um, the alcohol has a drying effect on the skin, especially if you had treatment, you don't want to dry the skin at all too much, okay? So ideally what you want to do is you really want to put um, aftershaves on your, on, your, on, your, on your body or your face, try and put it on your clothes rather, on, rather than on your face, all right? So this is the post-shave balm. 
So you put this on your face, then you would use a, a general moisturizer all over the face. Again, this helps to protect the skin and this contains SPF. Protects the skin from the harmful rays of the sun. It hydrates the skin, it makes you look younger for longer. Just think of a pair of leather shoes. You've got to look after them, they last longer. Your face is much more precious than a pair of leather shoes. You can't get ready, you can't run away from your face. <laughs> you can run away from a pair of leather shoes. <laughs> so it's really important that we look after our skin and you're feeling great. How does that feel? Excellent, brilliant. Beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome.